Dear friends, Retrieval Augmented Generation is a cutting edge tool poised at the intersection of natural language understanding and generation. RAG leverages retrievers to access vast amount of external knowledge, enhancing the generational capabilities of language models. This tutorial offers a comprehensive exploration of RAG's architecture, methodologies and applications. Now before we move on and learn more about it, I request you guys that do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for further updates. Now here's the agenda of our today's session. So guys, we are going to start our session with an introduction to RAG. Then we will learn about the retrieval mechanisms. Moving ahead, we will also discuss integration with generative models. And at the end, we are going to conclude our sessions with application of RAG. Just a quick info guys, Simply Learn has got a postgraduate program in AI and ML in collaboration with Purdue University. You will learn in-demand skills such as machine learning, deep learning, NLP, computer vision, reinforcement learning, generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT, and many more. Hurry up now and join the course. The course link is mentioned in the description box. So guys, let's start with an introduction to retrieval augmented generation. Guys, generation is a framework that extends capabilities of large language models like GPT, which means generative pre-trained transformer by integrating retrieval mechanisms directly into the model architecture. This framework is particularly useful for tasks that require access to external knowledge sources. Here is how RAG incorporates retrieval mechanisms. The first one we have all over here is a retrieval module. RAG module, a retrieval module is something that is responsible for accessing external knowledge sources such as large text corpus or a knowledge graph. This module retrieves relevant passages or entities from knowledge base based on the input query or context. Next one we have all over here is augmentation. So guys, in augmentation, the retrieved knowledge is then integrated into the generation process of the model. This augmentation step enriches the model's understanding of the input and provides it with additional context and information that can be used to generate more accurate and contextually relevant responses. Third one we have all over here is generation. If I talk about generation guys, the model generates a response based on the input query or prompt, augmented with the retrieved knowledge by leveraging both the model's pre-existing knowledge and the information retrieved from external sources. RAG produces more informed and contextually appropriate outputs. RAG has been applied to various natural language processing tasks including question answering, text summarization, and dialogue generation. By incorporating retrieval mechanisms directly into the generation process, RAG enhances the model's ability to leverage external knowledge and produce high quality outputs across wide range of applications. Now, let us move forward and understand what are the retrieval mechanisms in RAG. So guys, retrieval mechanisms in RAG serve as the backbone of retrieval augmented generation, enabling systems to access and integrate knowledge sources into the generation process. The first one and here is how retrieval mechanism operate within the RAG framework. The first one we have all over here is a retrieval module. RAG incorporates retrieval module responsible for fetching relevant information from external knowledge sources. These module can employ various retrieval techniques such as sparse retrieval, dense retrieval or combination of both to retrieve pertinent passages or documents related to the input query or context. Next we have is the sparse retrieval. In RAG, sparse retrieval involves efficiently searching through a large corpus of documents to find those most relevant to the input query. Techniques such as inverted indexing or term frequency inverse document frequency TF IDF may be used to quickly identify candidate documents that contain information relevant to the query. Third one we have all over here is dense retrieval. Dense retrieval in RAG leverages neural network based methods to map queries and documents into a shared embedding space where the similarity between them can be computed efficiently. This allows RAG to capture semantic relationship between queries and documents, enabling more accurate retrieval of relevant information. Fourth one we have is attention to mechanisms. 
Attention to mechanisms are integrated into the RAG's retrieval process to focus on the most salient parts of the retrieved documents. The mechanisms enable the model to dynamically weigh the importance of different passages based on the input query or context, ensuring that the retrieved information is effectively utilized during the generation process. And finally, we have the cross-model retrieval. If I talk about the cross-modal retrieval, RG may incorporate cross-modal retrieval mechanisms to retrieve information from multiple modalities, such as text, images, or structured data. This enables the model to access diverse sources of knowledge and integrate them seamlessly into the generation process, resulting in more comprehensive and contextually relevant output. By leveraging these retrieval mechanisms, RG enhances the model's ability to generate high quality responses by incorporating relevant external knowledge. This enables RG to excel in various natural language processing tasks, including question answering, text summarization, and dialogue generation, where access to external knowledge is crucial for producing informative and contextually appropriate outputs. Now, guys, let's move on to the next topic. That is, how we are going to integrate it with generative models. The integration of retrieval mechanisms with generative models as exemplified by retrieval augmented generation represents a significant advancement in natural language processing. By combining the strength of both retrieval-based and generative approaches, RAG achieves a more comprehensive understanding of input contexts and generates more accurate and informative responses. Now, here's a detailed explanation of how RAG integrates retrieval mechanisms with generative models. So guys, generative models such as GPT are adapted at gathering coherent and contextually relevant text based on a given prompt or input. These models learn to generate text by predicting the next word in the sequence based on the preceding context, leveraging self-attention mechanisms to capture long-range dependencies and contextual information. While powerful generative models may sometimes produce responses that lack factual accuracy or fail to incorporate relevant external knowledge. To address these limitations, RG augments generative models within retrieval mechanisms enable them to access and integrate external knowledge sources during the generation process. This integration occurs in several key steps. The first one we have all over here is a retrieval module. RG incorporates a retrieval module that retrieves information from external knowledge sources, such as large text corpora or knowledge graphs. This retrieval module may employ techniques like sparse retrieval or dense retrieval to efficiently locate pertinent passages or documents related to the input context or query. Next one we have all over here is augmentation of input. Once relevant information is retrieved, it is integrated into the input context and is provided to the generative model. This augmentation enriches the input context with additional knowledge, providing the model with a more comprehensive understanding of the topic or query. Third one we have all over here is attention to mechanisms. RAG uses attention mechanisms to dynamically weigh the importance of retrieved information during the generation process. These mechanisms enable the model to focus on the most relevant parts of the retrieved knowledge while generating a response, ensuring that the generated text is informed by the retrieved information. Fourth one we have all over here is generation with the integrated knowledge. The generative model then generates a response based on augmented input context, incorporating both original input and the retrieved knowledge. By leveraging both internal knowledge encoded during the pre-training and external knowledge retrieved at the inference time, RG produces responses that are not only coherent and contextually appropriate, but are also factual and informative. Over integration of retrieval mechanisms with generative models in RAG enhances the model ability to understand and generate text by leveraging external knowledge sources. This approach enables RAG to excel in a wide range of NLP tasks, including question answering, text summarization, dialogue generation, where access to external knowledge is very, very crucial for producing high. Let's move on to the final part of this video, which means understanding the concept of applications. Now let us move to the final part of the video where we are going to discuss the applications of RAG. So guys, retrieval augmented generation has a wide application across various domains within neural language processing and artificial intelligence. Here are some of the key applications of RAG. The first one is question answering. 
RG can be applied to a question answering task where access to external knowledge source is crucial for providing accurate and informative responses. By integrating retrieval mechanisms with generative models, REG can effectively retrieve relevant information from large text corpora on knowledge bases to generate contextually and relevant answers to the user queries. Next one we have all over here is information retrieval and summarization. REG can be used for tasks related to information retrieval and summarization, where the goal is to extract and summarize relevant information from large volumes of text. By leveraging retrieval mechanisms to access external knowledge sources, REG can generate concise summaries or retrieve relevant documents based on user queries or input context. Third one we have all over here is dialog systems. Dialog systems, including chatbots and virtual assistants, can benefit from REG by incorporating external knowledge sources into the conversation. REG can retrieve relevant information from knowledge bases of previous interactions to provide more contextually relevant and informative responses during the conversation with users. Fourth one we have all over here is content generation. REG can be utilized for content generation tasks such as article writing, content recommendation, and creative writing. By accessing the external knowledge sources, REG can generate content that is well-informed, factually accurate, and contextually relevant to the given topic or query. Next one we have is all over here is language translation. REG can enhance machine translation by integrating systems with external knowledge sources to improve the translation quality. By retrieving relevant bilingual text pairs or leveraging multilingual knowledge bases, REG can generate transitions that are more accurate and contextually appropriate. Next one we have all over here is content moderation and fact checking. REG can aid in content moderation and fact checking by automatically identifying misinformation or verifying the accuracy of user generated content. By retrieving relevant information from reliable sources, REG can help identify and mitigate the spread of false information online. So guys, overall REG offers versatile applications across wide range of NLP tasks, enabling more effective access and integration of external knowledge sources into generative models. This enhances the model's ability to understand and generate text in a variety of contexts, making it a valuable tool for numerous real-world applications. So guys, that was all for today's video. I hope so you would have enjoyed our today's video on REG. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.